You sure you just didn't take them in New York? I've, I've been doing this for years. I always take exactly what I need with me and leave the rest here. I, I took my cocktail this morning before I checked out of the hotel, so there's nothing else. Do you think you might have thrown the bottles out accidentally? Robin, I know better than that. Then I should have a month's supply here waiting for me. I'll go through your luggage. Maybe you missed something. Babe, you're not listening to me. I wouldn't have packed them anyway. And I already went through that bag three times, and I practically tore apart the bedroom. You know, it's just, let's just not waste any more time. I, I'm just, I'm going to go get a refill, okay? Okay, I'll go pick them up. No, no, you don't have to do that. I know I don't, but just, uh, you just stay here and relax. I'll go get them. That'd be really nice of you. Look, I'm sorry that I'm being really snarky. It's just, I don't know how this happened. I'm usually more responsible with my meds. You nope, know, they're, they're, they're my lifeline. I know you are, just don't be so hard on yourself. I'll, go, I'll be back. Hey, thank you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Nice reconstruction, Dr. Miles. Yeah, thanks. Well, I'll let you buy me a drink after I replace his left shoulder. Okay, don't everybody jump up at once. He's gonna do a follow-up for the spinal. Yeah, I'm uh, waiting for Patrick to consult. I left him two messages. He should have called back by now. You know, professional courtesy. Patrick's not working tonight. Oh, that's right, because his adorable wife just came back home. So, is it Patrick who gets special treatment, or Robin? I do the same for any doctor on staff. Uh, who happens to be married to the sweetheart of poor Charles. Jeez, you know, Chief, if only I could find a man who was as loyal and devoted to If your situation with Dr. Drake is so untenable, maybe you need to stop working together. The comment was uncomfortably personal. Then maybe you should notify human resources. <laughs> okay, come on. All right, lighten up. The only thing I care about is getting the best neurological counsel for my patients. But, you know, if you want to take it up to the board... Tell them you think I'm being unfair to you because we slept together. Frankly, it would be a relief to shine some light on the situation. Damn, Steve, I didn't realize you felt so hostile toward me. Okay, fine. I can assure you that Patrick and I can still work together effectively. All right? So let's, let's, let's drop it. All right, here's some wine for you. And what are you drinking? Club soda. It's amazing to me how you've pulled it together, being sober. It's one day at a time. Some days are tougher than others, which you already know, because you were there when I was ready to drink again. And you stopped me. No, you stopped you. I might have provided a gentle reminder about how your life is better when you're sober. Well, here's the gentle reminders. I'm around whenever you need one. Thank you. But uh, none of this has anything to do with uh, why you asked to meet me. Lisa Niles and her alleged interest in Patrick. Well, Lisa and Patrick have a history together. Before Patrick met Robin, I guess even a little bit after that, he was the original Dr. Playboy. Okay, so maybe Patrick's revisiting his glory days with a little judicious flirting. Not that I think it's a good idea for married people to go down that road, but I mean, if nothing serious comes of it, it's better for you to just stay out of it. Um, except when Lisa is around Patrick, Patrick doesn't look like a guy who's being flirted with. He looks like a guy who's being stalked. Often Just grabbing a prescription for Robin. Oh, I thought maybe you picked up a message from Lisa. Listen, Chief, I need a favor. I can't consult on any more of Lisa's cases. Already done. Did she request it? Well, I made the call in the best interest of the hospital. decided to return my calls. I don't understand what you're doing. Oh, these histronics are getting old really Lisa, fast. Lisa, you stole Robin's HIV meds. Do you know how dangerous, That's how ridiculous. malicious that is? It's not ridiculous. You did it. <gasps> okay, you know what? If you think I'm such a menace, you should probably change your locks. Oh, wait, but then you have to explain to Robin what you thought that was necessary. No, no, don't worry. The locks will be changed. Lord. Okay, you know what? Calm down, all right? If little wifey's meds have actually gone missing, she probably lost them somewhere. <laughs> okay. But for you to think that I went into your house and I stole them, I mean, that would be crazy. <laughs> I stopped by Patrick and Robin's house while Robin was gone, and Lisa was there. 
with Patrick, acting like she owned the place. I mean, she claimed they were watching NASCAR or whatever, but I'm sorry. It was obvious that Patrick was not happy about it. And I know the signs, because it's something I would do. Can you just stop carrying the guilt? I mean, it's not like you dragged me in against my will. Stop apologizing. <sighs> the problem is I regret what I did to get with you, but I can't actually regret being with you, as messed up as it sounds, because I liked the time that we spent together. Hi. Hey. Emma sleeping, but I did promise her that her daddy would go on and say goodnight. The pharmacy was back then. Oh, it's okay, babe. I'm just, I'm not that far off my schedule. I just don't know how this happened. I mean, I'm obsessive, compulsive about my meds. It's fine. I can't be careless about my health, you know? You and Emma count on me. People misplace things, Robin, it happens. Actually, I lost a set of keys, so I'm gonna get the locks changed, just so we're safe. Okay, it's a good idea. Okay. Am I losing my mind? <laughs> what, what happened to our wedding picture? Uh, I was late for work a couple days ago and I hit it with my um, gym bag. It fell, the glass broke, and it wrecked the picture, so I'm getting another one printed. Do oh. you want some water for your pills? No, I would like a big hug. Yeah. I missed you a lot. I'm glad I'm home.